Welcome back to Webdematics. This is your host Subhan Dubat. Now let's continue building up our application. At this point we have created orders. And now we want to display the items or ordered in this particular order like so. So I have done this behind the scenes. We'll do it from scratch. So let's begin. Okay, so at this point we can view the order details like so and we have no way to display all the items for this particular order. So in order to customize views in Boiser, you can see on overriding files section. So we can override any views. What our ultimate goal is to edit this blade file and display our order items somewhere. So to override views, what we can do is we can create this folder inside our views folder and then specify the blade file over here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create this folder. So inside resources, views, we need to create another folder called vendor. And inside Fender, we need to create a new folder for Voyager. And inside Voyager, named view.blade.php. So we have uh, three folder vendor inside that Voyager and inside that orders. And inside orders, we have created view.blade. Sorry, read.blade. So read.blade is responsible for displaying the single resource. Let's rename it to read.blade. All right. So we'll copy the content from the core of the Voyager where everything else will be same, but we'll edit small part of it. So inside vendor folder, inside root vendor folder, we have the package with name TCG. And inside inside resources, views, and we we need this bread views and we want to over override this read.blade. So we will need all the contents of read.blade from this TCG Voyager resources views and we copy everything from the read.blade of the package to our newly created read file. And uh, let's make uh, some changes on this title so that we can know our custom file is loading up. Custom title of ours. Let's go and refresh. There we go. We can see custom title of ours. So now we can edit and put everything, anything we want over here and it will reflect on that. Similarly, if you want to edit for any other bread, you just need to create a folder with that bread name and then you can overwrite all the core files of Voyager. All right, so page header will do nothing and inside content will create another column over here and display the order details. So inside row, if you call F, so this is the model and this is all JavaScript. Okay, so we are concerned about this content section and inside row we have this one column with 12 width. We'll create another column. Call MD, let's say four. And we'll put order details over here. And let's make it eight. And here we'll create a panel.
so looks like they are using bootstrap 3 so we'll need this panel you can get this on bootstrap site and panel default and panel heading will be order items and inside panel content let's put this dummy content for now and let's see how it looks so we'll create this thing so we just added another column with width 4 and make it 8 and inside here we have create, created a panel border and give a panel heading of order items and inside panel body we have created the HTML table with name, quantity and price and we loop through all our order so data type content contains all orders and we can call this relationship items on that and loop through it to display name, quantity and price similarly we can show the total, grand total like so So this data type content already comes, already passed by the Voyager to it. So that uh, variable contains the order model. All right. So in that model, we can call this relationship. So let's go and see how it looks. All right. So it looks cool. All right. At this point, we can view order details. Now what I will do is. I will generate all the sheets file for all these bread related table. So what is the problem with Voyager is if you need to transfer it to production or any other environment, you need to copy, you need to export the SQL and then you can import that in your production. So that is the one way. So while developing, if you run PHP artisan migrate fresh or if you delete any, if you run rerun migration, it will delete everything that we have done so far with these orders I mean with all these bread related views all these views will be lost alright so what I will do is I will generate the seeds for these Voyager related tables so these seeds file will contain all data that we can run db seed command and actually get all these because Voyager stores all these settings all these bread related settings on these tables that's why we if we if we regenerate these tables and it will have all the necessary settings so we have to generate the seeds from the database table so this is the cool package orange is i seed so i'll install this package and then generate all the necessary migration files sorry seeders file seeder files so this is running so meanwhile what we'll do over here is we'll remove some of these columns from this browse view because it is making it quite dirty over here too much data so what I will do is go to bread edit the order breads and we want to so we'll not display shipping city state zip code on browse view Similarly, billing info will not show on browse view. We can see them on the read view. That's why. And that's it. So now hit submit. So whenever you make any changes to these settings and hit submit, it will store all those data in data rows field. Alright, so after updating, if we go to the view order or just return to order space. Now we'll only show all required data only, so it is much cleaner than before.
okay once i seed has been installed we can generate our seeders so i created one gist which will create all the necessary tables so php artisan i seed and then name of table for which you want to create seed fi seeder files so data type data rows categories post so all these are Voyager specific tables which we want to save so data types this is already exist do you wish to override it is saying yeah so i will currently uh, override every every seeder files that already exist with our new data just do y and enter or you can apply force flag over here double dash force which will not ask these that's all right for now so all seeders are generated and all seeders are referenced on our database table seeder database seeder so these two we have by default all right so now we have user table seeder as well which contains all our necessary users so yeah, we don't need to do this step now now if we run php artisan uh, php artisan migrate fresh php artisan migrate fresh seed so it will create exactly same thing so one small change we need to make these this user table seeder need to be run after the rules and permissions has been created actually these rules has been created or you can put all the way down because in users table we need to reference the role id that's why it is throwing error all right so everything completed all settings related to bread are in place all right so at this point we can add items to cart we can increase item save it we can go to home page we can add another item proceed to checkout fill in our information and then order has been placed we can go to backend slash admin we can log in as admin and we can view our orders we can view the detail of order how many items order perfect so if needed we can deliver the product and then we can make the status pending to complete it and paid not paid to paid and then save it like so we can manage our orders so only if you need to push this to production or any other server you need to run iseed command to generate to update the seeder files that we just generated so you can do it in two way either generate all seeders for all these table using this command or directly export the SQL file and import that SQL file so all up to you so that's it I'll see you on next video